Yeah, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, back at you with another video. So today we are swapping out some headlight bulbs. These things need some tint, like very badly. But uh, for today we're just gonna do the bulbs. Uh, you know they're a little bit different than the Ultima, so I just wanted to show you guys in case you were wondering how difficult it is. Uh, today we are swapping out the low beam slash daytime running lights as well as the um, sorry the daytime running light slash high beam as well as the low beam for the low beams i have the 10,000 k now a lot of you guys know that um you know anything over 6,000 k the light puts uh, uh light outputs be starts to become distorted but you know i like the the ultra deep blue look of the 10,000 k and for our fog lights we decided to go with some yellow these are just regular bulbs these HIDs we already have HIDs in there so we just got to swap out bulbs these are just regular yellow uh, daytime running lights some of the tools that you're gonna need a uh, flathead screwdriver and a uh, Phillips head and what you're gonna basically want to do now I was already back here to install the intake some of you guys may know what you need to do is there's one uh, Phillips head screw right here where my finger is and then if you undo one two three clips um you can uh maybe this one up here in the corner too this whole thing will kind of flat back and you can get in the, in there uh, so what i'm going to do is put the camera down um remove all of these parts and uh, i'm going to show you guys how to put in light bulbs so i did end up having to remove the uh, little plastic plug that was up here just once you get all those out you're going to have to kind of pull the fender liner down it uh, tucks itself inside here and there's a little flap you got to pull out um so once i'm once you get to this point uh what you're gonna see inside is uh two you know pretty much all of your lights blinkers um it's kind of crazy that uh nissan makes you do all this just to change the bulbs but uh what we're gonna do is start with our low beam slash uh sorry daytime running light slash um high beam and uh what you're gonna see in here is a little metal clip Sorry for that noise, my neighbor's doing some renovations next door. Just let him finish his stuff there. So you're gonna see a metal clip in here with two tabs on either side and what you gotta do, push the tabs in and push out and uh, this bulb is going to just pop out just like that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is put the camera down, get my bulbs installed. I believe this is the uh, daytime running light slash high beam, the yellow ones. So we're gonna go ahead, install those right now and um, show you guys what the, uh, what the, high, the low beams are like. <laughs> Now keep in mind, you're not gonna wanna touch your uh, new bulb with your finger, so I'm just gonna keep the styrofoam uh, protector on there while I insert it onto our stock wiring. Okay, once our bulb is plugged in, we're gonna wanna remove this styrofoam protector, insert it the same way. Now that the bulb's out, you can kinda see the clips. You gotta put the bulb in and push them in, and they're gonna lock inside of these tabs right here so um i'm gonna put the camera down because uh to be honest i don't really have a tripod that's good enough to get an angle here so i'm gonna put the camera down install these and um switch up the low beams Alrighty, so for your low beam, same idea, just take off the little plastic cover on the back um, and it's going to be the same idea, two little plastic uh, clips, you're going to want to squeeze them in, <clears throat> kind of a tight squeeze, squeeze them in and pull them out and that's going to release those little clips on the bottom. I'm going to put the camera down because i got a feeling I'm going to need two hands here, so get back to you in a second. All right, so that bulb was a bit of a tighter fit for my hand, but uh, basically what you got is just a little twist off bulb here. Uh, once again, if you want to reuse these, don't touch them with your hands. I'm going to try not to. And um, yeah, we're going to uh, do the same thing. Put these bulbs back in and uh, I'm going to do both sides before I put the fender liners on just so I can test them. And then once I know that both sides are working properly, I'm going to put the fender liners on and that'll be a wrap. So we're gonna go ahead, finish this side. Before I test anything, uh, just because if you, uh, HID bulbs, let's say you run one for like an hour or a half an hour, it's gonna be a different temperature uh, than the one that just turned on and uh, they're not really gonna equal out. It may be very faint and you may not notice it, but it's happened to me on my Impala and uh, I didn't really like it. So I'm just gonna fire them both up at the same time so that both bulbs will be uh, hopefully the same temperature um, throughout the life of the vehicle. 
Alrighty, so I've repeated the process on this side. Still have my fender flaps uh, left open just in case uh, one of these bulbs doesn't work. Now, these are just eBay cheapos. Like, to be honest, I got a couple pairs of each uh, just in case they go out. I also have, I'm going to keep my stocks in the trunk of the car. Um, I mean, this is like... You could do this without taking the tire off, but my car is pretty low, so I think that's going to be pretty much out of the question for me now. Um, but, you know, just in case, we can uh, jack it up at a friend's house and get that bulb change if it's something important. But um, now for the moment of truth, uh, we're going to go ahead, turn those on. Now, I haven't been using my fogs because um, one of them was burnt out. So let's see. Oh, I'm already seeing some blue and some yellow. Bam. Now, you can't really tell. I'm going to do some nighttime shots, but both are working. Um, can't really tell the temperatures, but what I am going to do is, like I say, take some night shots. A lot of people are going to hate me for this um, because I don't have projectors, but, you know, unfortunately, that's a little too bad for you guys. Um, hasn't killed anybody yet. Uh, no death by HIDs yet from what I can hear so um, yeah I'm pretty happy with this unfortunately uh, the G doesn't have fogs down below I'm gonna look into getting some installed because I would like to see the yellow uh, coming from the bottom along the road but um, I'm gonna rock these for the time being we are gonna get some tint uh, hopefully tint the front headlights I was gonna do a yellow and then I was gonna do like a nice blue uh, similar to maybe like a Mercedes or give it kind of a euro look but I think I am gonna go with just a light uh, tin of black and um, you know keep it simple so yeah that was a uh, pretty big success I'd say um, like to be honest I don't know why um, Nissan had to make the infinities so hard to work on like it's probably so that the German automakers wouldn't think that they're soft or something like that um, I mean obviously this is the luxury vehicle um, from Nissan so I guess they had to make it seem luxury by you know making everything ten times harder to work on so we got a couple more things uh, going for us uh, this video should be out on uh, what's on Wednesday this should be out on Sunday and um, we are actually gonna be going to the track that day so if you guys are watching this you may have seen that I was at the track from the Instagram uh, post that I've been making um, Hopefully I've been making some and I didn't kill myself. But uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty much it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put the fender liners back on. I have to do an oil change today, so I'll be making a video about that. And uh, also, I'm going to try to hunt down a couple rattles that I've been having. Um, I think some of the uh, exhaust heat shields that were left on after we did the exhaust are kind of just making noise now that the exhaust is really loud. Uh, so we're going to look into that. But uh, for the time being, I'm going to put an end of this video. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching as always don't forget to click that like that like button um, Subscribe if you're not subscribed and uh, I'm gonna catch y'all at the next one man